Hello guys! Surprisingly, I've been buying a lot of books this summer, so I've st uh, decided to make parts so that it will be, you know, a short video for each sort of category instead of a big one. In there, I have five books from Scandinavian literature to show you because I've always been quite interested into Scandinavian literature, but more precisely in Swedish literature and Icelandic literature. Those are countries that really, really intrigue me and I'm quite curious and I want to know more. So, what better way than a book? First of all, we have The True Deceiver by Top Jensen. I don't know if you can see, yeah. Even though she writes in Swedish, she's actually Finnish. And lately she has been popular because of a book, the summer book, but this is the one I saw, so I bought it because it was really cheap. It has been translated into English as well, and the title is The True Deceiver Tell the Story of a Young Woman in Order to Offer a Brother a Better Life, decide to sort of get close to a famous reclusive illustrator. In the small village, in order to steal money from from her, but in sort of honest way, I absolutely loved it. Give it four out of five stars. The writing style is quite hard and definitely not for everyone. But if you really like sort of experimental and different kind of writing style, I will highly recommend this one. Then we have. Rosa Candida by Audrey Ava Olaf Stochir. And I am absolutely sorry if I'm butchering any of this name because I do not speak neither Icelandic, Swedish, or Norwegian. So feel free to correct me if I'm mis mispronouncing any of these names. In French, the title is Rosa Candida, and in English, it is Green, The Greenhouse. And I do prefer the French title. I think it's quite poetic, and I really love the edition. It's like a limited edition, if I'm not mistaken. Like this sort of purple, the golden, and a bit embroidered. You can feel the author's name. I know nothing of this book, but it seems like they've been. It has been quite popular in France from Scandinavian literature, and I'm quite curious to make my own opinion on this one. Then came Calm, then comes The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Get, and in French it is La Vie au Ralenti. And I tried to pronounce the author's name, but nah, I'm not going to do that and get it recorded, so. Her book is translated from Norwegian and uh, it tells the story of a widow who after losing her husband decides she will not leave a flat. But then one day she decides that she should at least try again to get out there and socialize with people. So this book tells the story of how she's going to try again to create some human contact and sort of go in the world again. I'm pretty excited to read this one. Well, I'm excited for all of them. And this is the only book I've heard someone mention it and it was on Jane Campbell's channel last month, so this month, quite recently actually. Then there is Christine Marja Baldur's Dochir. She's Icelandic, and her book was translated from Icelandic, but it was not translated into English, so lucky me, I can read in French. And this book is about women place it, place into Icelandic society, and that was enough for me to pick up this book, because I find it quite interesting. I read somewhere the author said that. Despite Iceland being the first country to, at least in Europe, from what, uh, to give women the right to vote for the past 20 years or so, she felt like women place 
had been sort of diminished and put aside because they were given what they wanted and now the society should move on. So yeah, women place in whatever society, I will always read it. So, set in Icelandic, it got my attention. And finally, there is this one by John Kalman Stephenson, which has been translated by from Icelandic as well, and in English it is Heaven and Hell, and it is a trilogy, and I'm pretty excited to read this one as well. Never heard anyone mention it, so we shall see why you love it, shall we? So that was my Scandinavian book haul. If you have read any of this book or have heard something about this book, don't hesitate and let me know on the comment down below. And if you have any recommendation from Swedish Icelandic author, do not hesitate, or any Scandinavian author really. Thank you for watching and see you later guys. Bye!